Hi everybody, Tinty Tarantula here and welcome to another video, um, a different kind of video. Obviously, you've seen some of my videos where I just talk about my um, experiences with tarantulas and this one is um, how tarantulas and aquariums um, benefit mental health. Obviously, they might not benefit everybody's mental health, but they certainly benefit my mental health. So I thought I'd share with you how they benefit my mental health and my story with my tarantulas and my mental health problems. Um, so obviously I've suffered a lot of mental health for years. Um, my mental health got a lot worse when my brother passed away. Um, he was 13 years old. I was looking after him one Father's Day. Um, it was fine one minute. Next minute he had an epileptic fit or short-term sudden death epilepsy and it killed him. Obviously, I blamed myself, even though it wasn't my fault, because obviously I was babysitting him. So I blamed myself for years. And my mental health rarely took a battering. Obviously, I was close to my brother. Out of all my brothers and sisters, I was obviously closest to this brother. Um, obviously, we used to always go to reptile shops together. Um, he had a scorpion. He used to come and watch my tarantulas molt. And draw my tarantulas. He was a very good drawer. He used to be scared of tarantulas and spiders until I got my very first tarantula, which was a Chilean rose. And over um, time, before he passed away, I actually he used to come and sit and draw my um, Chilean rose. And I got him to the point where he wasn't scared of tarantulas to the point where he used to put his hand actually in the Chilean rose's enclosure. So that was um, a massive achievement because before we, um, obviously, before I let him spend time with my tarantulas, he used to petrify, he used to scream if he saw a spider, like scream and cry. He was really bad at arachnophobia. Um, but if, like I said, that is an achievement I'm proud of. Obviously, before he passed away, I managed to um, help him conquer his fear of spiders. Sorry about the shaking. I'm on the floor. So yeah, obviously after, like I said, he passed away, I um, literally blamed myself and my mental health took a absolute battering. Hence the reason why I got no gnashes. Um, I turned to um, a lot of drugs. I used to constantly, didn't, I didn't work. I was on the dole. I used to spend all my dole money on drugs and alcohol. I didn't look after myself. And as a result, I lost all my teeth and my mental health took a battering that's that's when these tarantulas and obviously my aquariums I've got aquarium there and aquarium in the front room helped my mental health um, and people are going to say how did they help your mental health well just looking after the tarantulas I given them a water um, giving them a feed um, the same with the aquariums. Um, sat, sat there watching the fish go um, in the aquarium. I pretty much swim up and down and feeding the fish and obviously doing the maintenance on the aquariums really does mental health. Really does benefit mental health. I find it benefits my mental health anyway. Um, getting up every day, checking on the animals. And some days I got to the point where I didn't even want to do much, but I still, even if it was just feeding, even if it was just feeding the fish, or giving the plants a trim, it gave me a sense of achieving something and thinking, you know what? These are living beings, and I've actually done something today. I've actually got up. I felt a bit crappy, but you know what? I've done something to the tarantulas, or I've done something to the aquarium, whether it's feeding, watering. Um, just having a look, and it's given me a real sense of achievement, and thinking, you know what, I've achieved something today, I'm proud of that, and little by little, um, gradually, um, day by day, week by week, I've gotten um, a bit better, and I've done more with the, with the tarantulas and the aquariums, to the point where I'm pretty much doing it every day. So I do believe that aquariums and animals can help with mental health. It certainly helped me. Obviously, I do get some days where 
I can't be arsed and I don't want to be here, but that's um, part of it. Um, I've taken that. I, I used to take medication for mental health and I used to see a counsellor, but I stopped all that. Um, the medication was always making me drowsy and tired. And seeing the counsellor didn't help because all I wanted to talk about was my childhood, when my childhood had nothing to do with the reason why I was depressed. The reason why I was depressed and obviously mental health is my brother. So yeah, that is my story on how tarantulas and aquariums have benefited my mental health. Um, obviously George Farmer. George Farmer obviously works for Tropica and Awaze and does aquascapes. He suffers with mental health and aquariums have rarely helped his mental health as well. So, um, yeah, and obviously you guys as well, doing videos for you guys has helped my mental health, um, also, also as well. I'm not trying to um, get sub gain subscribers with this video or get sympathy. I'm just giving you my honest opinion on how tarantulas, ha how, how tarantulas and aquariums have definitely benefited my mental health and maybe they might benefit your uh, mental health. And I'm trying to build a community um, a massive community where people who maybe suffer mental health issues can come and learn about aquariums and maybe learn about tarantulas and maybe get an aquarium or get a tarantula themselves and see if it helps their mental health issues. Um, that's the aim of the channel, is to help people with mental health issues by um, potentially getting them into the tarantula hobby or getting them into the aquarium hobby, and also they're learning as well. They're learning about the hobby, and the different care for um, the aquariums, and the tarantulas. So that's my main goal. Um, I just want to be honest with people. Um, like I said, how I found um, that working with tarantulas, working with obviously the aquariums, and obviously doing the YouTube, um, has really helped in my mental health. So I hope... Um, you all enjoyed the video, I'm just being 100% honest with everybody and I hope maybe you can watch this video and if you suffer mental health problems yourself uh, maybe um, the channel or you can take a little bit away from this video and it might actually help you out in the future my goal, I have a, do have a long term goal which would be to have a massive subscriber base to the point where I could actually open my own building with the help of some other big youtubers and maybe have pe like a, a, a mental health um open a mental health building and maybe have people who um suffer with mental health come in and spend a couple of hours with tarantulas aquariums maybe get them to feed the tarantulas or to design enclosures or get them to scape um get them to scape um, aquariums or get them to just sit and learn about the animals and spend time with these animals and maybe help them in a way with their mental health and obviously potentially have um, George Farmer come and do a talk because um, he's suffered with mental health so we could come and do a talk for people and maybe inspire them and talk um, about his experiences maybe a couple of big UK tarantula enthusiasts can come and talk to people, give their experiences on tarantulas, maybe advice, and just create a real good community uh, for people to learn, but also for people with mental health issues to maybe come and watch the videos, come down to the building and spend time with the animals, and just help people, even if it's only a little bit, with their mental health. That's the aim going forward, but <laughs> I'm going to need a lot of subscribers if I want to fulfill that dream. Um, but I'd love to one day open a mental health um, centre, um, have it filled with um, aquariums and tarantulas, have people come in, spend time with the animals, learn about the animals, have um, other big YouTubers come in and give talks and demonstrations and maybe their feedback and stuff if they've suffered mental health. I really do want to help, um, obviously, people with mental health. So obviously, I've suffered with mental health myself, so I know. So I really want to help people with mental health, and maybe the tarantulas and the aquariums can do that. 
so thanks for watching i'm just been totally honest like i said i'm not doing this um to gain subscribers or fame i'm doing it because i do have a massive place in my heart for mental health and if these tarantulas or this aquarium and the aquarium in the front room can help people um, with their mental health issues or maybe help their day be a bit better by watching these videos and learning then I've um, achieved what I wanted to achieve so thank you I hope this video has not bored you um, I, I, I'll understand if people don't like it and I get a lot of um, negative feedback on a channel and I um, lose subscribers I understand that but this is um, me being honest that tarantulas and aquariums um, have definitely helped my mental health and hopefully maybe some of you like I said out there it might help your mental health so as always thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed it would be awesome if you could drop a like and leave a comment and subscribe to the channel it really does help out and we've got some cracking videos coming up we've got some more of the salt water videos coming up we've got some unboxings of some products um we've got um the cycling we're still currently cycling as you can see the tank it's been over a week now the tank's cycling i've got my salinity meter on the way in the post as well i've got some coralline algae coming in the post so we've got a lot of awesome videos coming to the channel so as always take care and bye bye